Kidney filter is also known as nephron and glomerulus. And the commonest glomerular disease in Asia and India is IgA nephropathy. In fact, this happens because of aberrant immunity. When we talk about the immune system, then there are various types of immunoglobulins such as IgA, IgE, IgM, IgG. Most of the times, if a patient is having respiratory infection or GIT infection, then IgA immunoglobulin is created inside the body and when this antibody is aberrant in a structure, then this tends to deposit inside the filters of the kidney which are known as glomerulus and unfortunately this leads to a variety of diseases and no particular pattern is unique to IgA, it can mimic any condition. I have seen various types of presentation of IgA nephropathy. I have seen gross hematuria where a patient is having visibly red urine in episodic manner. I have also seen that patient is otherwise normal only in routine urine microscopic examination is showing increased number of RBC. There are at times leakage of protein in the urine maybe 500 mg, 1000 mg, we call it subnephrotic proteinuria. But at times I have seen massive proteinuria also 4000 mg per day, 6000 mg per day that is known as nephrotic syndrome. Sometimes there is only high BP especially in young age. Sometimes there is rise of creatinine. Sometimes rise of creatinine is because of gradual progressive nature of the disease. We call it CKD. But at times the rise of creatinine is sudden and this is mainly because of something called crescent formation inside the glomerulus. And otherwise healthy kidney has sudden jump of creatinine because of this crescent formation. So IgA nephropathy may be having various kinds of presentation. It can present as acute renal failure, it can present as chronic renal failure, it can present as asymptomatic urine abnormality, it can present as hypertension. So one person has to be very very vigilant and if the disease is diagnosed right in the beginning Initial one or two months are the periods when something curative can be done and if a person is having even slightest of the RBC in the urine, protein in the urine, hypertension or rise of creatinine, this is the period then lot many things can be done to save this kidney from this progressive condition. But unfortunately, many of the times I have seen that these symptoms are there in routine checkup but patients and their doctors, they tend to ignore it fully. At times, they ignore it and at times, they become so scared about it that they, they do not come to nephrologists, rather they try to seek Google kind of information and they waste valuable time and the disease becomes progressive, irreversible and chronic. Even if creatinine has increased and it is there for quite some time, if you get help of your nephrologist, it is possible to make this weak kidneys work for a longer period of time if you consider nephrologist as your friend. And luckily, in recent years, lot much of research is being done to tackle IgA nephropathy. Sometimes disease is so advanced that dialysis and transplant is required, which is given when the disease is quite advanced. So it is always better to understand the early symptoms of IgA nephropathy and whenever they are there, suppose you get for a routine urine examination in your preventive health checkup or pre-employment checkup and there are 15 RBCs in the urine, even if there is no symptom, then get help of a nephrologist so that diseases like IgA nephropathy or other glomerulonephritis can be tackled at the right moment. So that was all about IgA nephropathy. Be vigilant, stay safe. Thank you.